The Megazyme Tartaric Acid Kit is suitable for the specific measurement of tartaric acid, especially in wines and fruit juices. The kit is suitable for performing 200 assays in manual spectrophotometer format or 2000 assays in an auto analyzer or microplate format. The kit as received should contain one instruction manual, one bottle of clarifying agent, two bottles of tartaric acid reagent one, two bottles of tartaric acid reagent two, and one bottle of tartaric acid standard. The reagents are used as supplied. The principle of the Megazyme tartaric acid measurement procedure is shown in this slide. Colour development of the reaction solution is generated upon mixing samples containing tartaric acid with reagent 1 and reagent 2. This assay is based on the reaction between tartaric acid and vanadate. In this video we will describe the manual assay procedure used for white wines. The settings for the assay procedure are a wavelength of 505 nanometers. The assay is performed in a 1 cm path length cuvette of 3 mL and a temperature of approximately 25 degrees or 37 degrees. Each batch of samples requires a standard and a blank. To perform this, the assay procedure, pipette 0.1 mL of sample into the sample cuvette. Then pipette 0.1 mL of standard into the standard cuvette. Pipette 1.75 mL of distilled water into the sample cuvette. Pipette 1.75 millilitres of distilled water into the standard cuvette. And 1.85 millilitres of distilled water into the blank cuvette. After the addition of distilled water, add 0.4 ml of tartaric acid reagent 1 to each sample, standard and blank. Mix each solution, then exactly at 1 minute after the addition of reagent 1, read the absorbance A1 of each solution. After reading absorbance A1 for each solution, add 0.25 ml of tartaric acid reagent 2 to each sample, standard and blank. Mix each solution, then exactly 4 minutes after the addition of reagent 2, read absorbance A2 for each solution. This manual assay procedure is specific for red wine samples. The conditions of this procedure are identical to the general assay procedure except with the addition of the clarifying agent. Each batch of samples requires a standard and a blank. 
To perform the manual assay procedure for red wines, pipette 0.05 milliliters of clarifying agent into the sample cuvette. into the standard cuvette and into the blank cuvette. Then add 0 0.1 milliliters of sample into the sample cuvette. Add 0 0.1 milliliters of tartaric acid standard to the standard cuvette. Then add 1.7 milliliters of distilled water to the sample cuvette. Add 1.7 milliliters of distilled water to the standard cuvette. Add 1.8 milliliters of distilled water to the blank cuvette. After the addition of distilled water, mix each solution and incubate for one minute. Add 0.4 milliliters of tartaric acid reagent 1 to each sample, standard and blank. Mix each solution, then exactly at one minute after the addition of reagent 1, read the absorbance A1 of each solution. After taking the absorbance reading A1 for each solution, add 0.25 milliliters of tartaric acid reagent 2 to each sample, standard and blank. Mix each solution, then exactly 4 minutes after the addition of reagent 2, read the absorbance A2 for each solution. Here we have examples of the tartaric acid kit colour development with sample, standard and blank. Samples containing high levels of tartaric acid will generate a high degree of colour development. In this case the sample has very low levels of tartaric acid and the standard has a high level of tartaric acid and therefore a high degree of colour development. Calculation of results for the tartaric acid test kit are performed as described in the calculation section in the kit booklet. Alternatively, a megacalc application for this kit is available from the Megazyme website. This is an Excel-based spreadsheet that allows simple and reliable results analysis of raw data. The first worksheet of the megacalc application shows the instruction page, which details how to fill out the megacalc worksheet. This is the megacalc worksheet. To fill out the sheet, first input the sample details, then input the absorbance values A1 and A2 for the blank samples. Then input the absorbance values A1 and A2 for the single point standard. Then input the sample identifier for the test samples. 
followed by absorbent values A1 and A2. If any further dilution was applied to the sample prior to analysis, input the appropriate dilution factor. If no dilution was applied, leave this value as 1. For liquid samples, results are automatically calculated in grams per litre. For analysis of solid samples, enter the original concentration at which the solid sample was dissolved or extracted in grams per litre prior to the analysis. Once all the data has been entered into the spreadsheet, the MegaCalc automatically calculates results. This can then be printed or saved electronically.